Hi kindergarten! Welcome back. I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, so today for ELA, we're going to get to talk about our essential question again. And I know you see something next to me. We're going to talk about it in just one second, okay? Our essential question is going to give it away. What do you think this is? Maybe we'll find out. Our essential... Oh! Oh my goodness! This almost fell right over. Okay. Our essential question today is, how can your senses help you learn? Hmm, how can your senses help you learn? Well, let's think, we ought to know what our senses are. Do you remember? Maybe you watched the video for science already and you know about the senses because we already talked about them when we were cooking. Maybe you don't and that's okay too. We have five senses that help us understand and explore our world. So we're going to build Mr. Potato Head and see if we can figure out what our five senses are so that this week we can keep learning about how they help us learn and grow. Okay, so this is Mr. Potato Head right here. And he doesn't have any body parts. He needs some help so that he can have his body all ready to explore and learn about the world. Let's check out what I have. I have some different things right here for us to add to Mr. Potato Head to help us figure out what the five senses are. So first I have these. Hmm. What are these? Do you have these on your head? Point to them. These are your eyes. Your eyes are something that help you see the world and see is one of our five cents. It's our first one. I'm going to put them on Mr. Potato Head and hope he doesn't fall down on me again. Oh my goodness. That was scary. Okay, Mr. Potato Head, you got to stay up there. He has two eyes to help him see, just like me and you, right? When we can see things, we can notice stuff, right? If you can't see, then you can't read, right? Well, you can read if you learn Braille, but we use our eyes to see and how, so we know where we're going. And so we can notice things that are the same or different and they help us count, right? So our eyes are really good at helping us learn. Hmm. Let's see what else I have. Oh, this is my nose. Point to your nose. Good job. This is our nose. Our nose helps us too. What does our nose help us with? You're right. Our nose helps us smell. Give me a smell. What's your house smell like? Mine kind of smells like candles a little bit. Our nose helps us smell and we can use our nose to help us learn. Did you know that? Like when I am cooking and I use my nose, I use my nose to help me smell so that I know if my things in the oven are done. Or do you know what happened to me yesterday? I was cooking some bread in the oven and it had some cinnamon on it and I smelled because I had a little bit of smoke coming out of the oven because my sugar and cinnamon dripped on the bottom. So I used my nose so that I knew that it was burning and I could fix it before it got bad. All right, let's see what else we have. I have a mouth with a tongue on it. Can you stick out your tongue? Hmm. What does our tongue help us with? You're right. Our tongue helps us taste, right? We can know if things are sweet or sour or bitter. Our tongue helps us so we can taste. We want to know how to what things taste like, right? Then we can learn if we like things or if we don't like things. Um, and our tongue could maybe tell us if something is good for our body or not good for our body. Mr. Potato Head just keeps wanting to go for a dance, doesn't he? Mr. Potato Head, you gotta stay up here. Friends, tell him stay up there, Mr. Potato Head. All right. Oh, ooh, here's my next thing. What are these? Ears! My ears help me do what? Ears help you hear, right? We turn our listening ears on all the time, so you are, I'm sure, a pro at that. Our ears help us hear or listen, right? We want to be able to listen so we know what's going on. 
One thing that I like to do is when I'm about to cross the street, I listen to make sure I don't hear any cars coming, right? And I look too with my eyes and I listen with my ears. Or to help me learn at school, if I have my ears turned on, then I understand what the teacher's saying, right? And when the teacher tells me what's going on, then it helps my brain learn. We have one more part of the body that we need to give Mr. Potato Head. And these are his hands. Show me your hands. Put them up high. Wave them around. Hello, hands. What do our hands help us do? They help us feel, right? They can feel things. Like I can feel my pants and they feel kind of smooth. My chair's a little bit rough and bumpy. Or um, even these, they're laminated, so they're smooth too. My, face, my hair's kind of soft. So we use our hands to help us feel things. Sometimes they help me learn because then I can feel if something maybe would be too hot to touch and so I don't want to touch it. Um, or uh, maybe I use my feeling hands and I use them to write with our finger. Remember like when we do our sight word or our letter, we pretend to write on different textures and that helps us so our brain learns in different ways, right? So we use our hands to feel. Good job. Oh, Mr. Potato Head looks so much better now. Ugh, there we go. He looks all good to go. But, wait a minute. There's still some parts left. Did you know that we have to write, put the words on there too? Do you think you can remember what each of these body parts help us with and what the five senses are? Remember, we want to know how can your senses help you learn? We need to make sure we know what the senses are today. All right, so what did our eyes help us do? Who can remember? What did my eyes help me do? You're right, eyes help us to see. Let's put our C right here. Eyes help us see. This is the word C. Okay, now we have our ears. There's a little dot next to the ears. What do our ears help us do? They help us listen or hear. Right? This is the word here. Put that on there. All right, this is the, what our nose. What does our nose help us do? You're right. Our nose helps us to smell. This is the word smell. Okay. All right, what about our tongue and mouth? What does our tongue help us do? Our tongue helps us to taste, right? Then we know if things are hot or cold or what they, if they're sweet or sour, right? Our tongue tells us a lot. And our tongue teams up with our nose to help us do that. We'll learn that later this week. And then last, we have our two hands. And really, all of our skin helps us with this. What do they, excuse me, what do they help us do? They help us to touch or feel things, right? We'll put that on the next to the hands. High five, my friends. Uh, you just helped me build my Mr. Potato Head. He was looking a little sad, but he looks a lot better now that he's all put together. And he stayed up, didn't he? Thank you for helping me. So let's think. We know all of these senses, but what can they do to help us learn? Hmm. We're going to keep talking about that all week long, so I want you to keep that idea inside your brain. Now, today for our activity, you're going to get to go on Seesaw, and you're going to get to build your own Mr. Potato Head. But before you turn it in, I want you to tell us about what things your Mr. Potato Head does. So I want you to think about the five senses. See, hear, smell, taste, touch. Think of those five things, and I want you to tell us about them. So make sure your Potato Head can see, he can hear. He can smell, he can taste, and he can touch. And when he can do all of those things, then I want you to tell me about maybe what type of hands you gave him, what types of things he likes to taste, maybe what he likes to see and look at. We can't wait to see your cool work. Bye, kindergarten. Have a good day.